So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will discuss with you another interesting scenario based question which is quite often asked in the Power BI interviews nowadays. Okay, so you should definitely know how you can answer it correctly because it is something related to DAX. Okay, and nowadays uh, interviewers are very much focused on the DAX part. Okay, so let us proceed with the scenario and uh, and the solution obviously. So before that, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos for all of you. Okay, so let's proceed with the solution. Okay, so as we have seen from the title, uh, we will be discussing, to, discussing today about running total. Like the interviewer will ask you, can you write the DAX code? Can you write the DAX code for me for the running total? How will you calculate the running total? Or you can say the cumulative total. How will you write the DAX code for that? So first of all, let us understand what is cumulative total or what is running total. Both are the same. Okay, so running total is basically the total of the of your sales or of your revenue up to a particular date. For example, as you can see on the screen, we have different years here 2020, 2021, 2022. Okay, for 2022, we have the sales value as 890. For 21, we have 275. For 2022, we have the sales value as 1500. Okay, so what running total measure or cumulative total measure will give us, it will give me the sales of 2022, uh, sorry, uh, the sales of 2020, the same 890. Okay. But for 2021, that measure will give me the total value as 890 plus 275. Okay. So that means the total value till that particular date or particular year. Okay. And if we go to 2022, so it will show me the total sales value up to this year. That means 1500 plus 275 plus 890. Okay. So how will you calculate this? And I hope you understood what is running total now. Okay. Now let me walk you through the table that we are considering here. Okay. So for this, I have two tables. One is this sample sales sample table. Let me take you to the data view uh, tab. So here we have sales uh, sales sample table where we have a simple uh, few products A, B, C, D, E. Uh, they are different order date and they are different sales value. Okay. So this, so this is a very simple sales table. Okay. For different products. Now we will be considering our calendar table also here. Okay. That is the date table here. So that date table is normally the continuous dates from uh, I have considered it from 2020. So from 2020 first January 2020 to the current date that is of today. Okay. So till today it will have the continuous dates. Okay. So we are considering these two tables calendar table and this sales sam uh, sales sample table. And if I take you to the model view. So as you can see here we have these two tables and they are connected to each other using date key column and with one to many relationship that is what we should do. Okay. So this is about the model and the tables. Now let us go to the report view. Okay. So now we have to create a measure for the running total. How will we do that? Okay. So for that, I will go here, click for new measure. Okay. So I hope it is clearly visible now to you. So I will make it as cumulative sales. Okay or you can say the running sales or running total that would be a better word because that is what interviewers will, will call that the running total equal to <coughs> calculate will make use of calculate function what we will be calculating we will be calculating the sales sum of sales so again we will make use of some function here some what will be doing the sum sum of the sales value okay so sales value means the sales that is present in the sales sample table so sales We'll go to the sales sample table and this is the <coughs> sales value. Okay. Close the bracket for uh, sum. Okay. Till now, I hope it is clear. We are just calculating the sum of sales value. Now we have to focus on this second argument of calculate function. That will be the only critical part here. So for that, what I will make use of here, I will make use of filter function here. Okay. So filter function inside that, which filter, uh, what we have to filter it. I have to, I have to filter, I have to filter the date. So for that, I will make use of first argument as calendar table okay so calendar table will be will be my first argument because i will be uh, filtering out the calendar table on, on the basis of date okay now the second part of the filter argument what we will give it here that is the most important thing so for that what we will make we will make use of date column here okay so the date column is of calendar only so we'll make use of this date column okay and this date column should be less than equal to the maximum of maximum function maximum of this date only 
okay what do i mean by that so let me first pull that this okay now close the bracket for filter close the bracket for cal calculate function okay so one more bracket here so uh, as you can see here what we are doing so what we are doing here we were asking the date to go to the maximum of the selected date okay so whatever in whichever row we are so that will be the maximum row for us okay so that will contain the maximum uh, maximum uh, date and before that whatever are the dates include all those also include all those dates also so all the dates till that particular date which we are selected or which is the maximum till that particular record okay now if i press the enter key here and let's see what is the result and let's see if we are getting the correct result or not it's a little little tricky here but let us see what what is the uh, measure showing here so as you can see here the running total is also giving us the same result what is the which is the actual sales value but that is not our uh, problem right the problem is different it should show the total sales of of 2020 plus 2021 also in 2021 row so what is the problem here so the problem is uh, is here so in this filter argument the first argument we have given as at we have given it as calendar table so here we have to include all function here okay why do we are why we are including all function here because let's let's see the result first and then i will explain see we are now getting the correct results 890 plus 275 is 1165 and 890 plus 275 plus 1500 is equal to 2665 so right now whatever is shown on the screen is the right answer so now why we have used all function here all function what, what does it do it will ignore all the existing filters and return all the rows of the table or of the column whichever we have specified so here we have specified this calendar table so it will return all the rows of the calendar table ignoring all the existing filters so whatever filters were there existing in this table it has ignored and then it has included this filter part it will return all the rows of the calendar table and then on that particular number of rows this part of uh, this part will be executed okay and then only this is giving us the correct results i hope it is clear to you okay so i hope you got the explanation and this is what you have to answer to the interviewer this is the dax code you have to write it in front of the interviewer and this is the correct and exact dax code for it okay so that's what i wanted to share with you all today i hope you learned something from this video and please share this video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this thank you and stay tuned for the upcoming videos